So the first product that I'm going to be reviewing, it's called Magic Blood, and it comes in two parts. So the first one, part A, is a powder, and you're supposed to put the powder on your skin, and then you take part B, the liquid, and once that's applied to the powder, the powder is supposed to turn into blood. Now, I was really excited to get this product because I had used this before, well I didn't use it, my makeup artist used it, for a film that I did while I was in school. And it was the coolest thing I had ever seen. It just, I don't know, it just, it looked so real. The scene that I was doing was a girl was in the bathtub and she was carving a guy's name into her arm. And it just looked fantastic. Actually, here, I'll show you a little clip of it um, right here so you can see how it looks. To where you were the first time? Like that. And then... Oh, man. Anyway, so I bought this stuff. Now, I was a little disappointed because this didn't work the same way the other stuff did. So I'm thinking I probably just didn't buy a very good one. Um, and to be honest, I don't even know what brand this is, so it probably is just that. Um, I bought it from this website, and it came in a little plastic bag. It didn't even have any brand names or logos or anything on it. Yeah, so basically what you do, you take part A, oops, and you apply that to the skin. And this actually took a lot to make it turn into blood. So. I think that's what I don't like about it, is that I had to put so much powder on to make it even look remotely like it was cutting your skin. And then it just, you could really notice the powder on your skin. So it wasn't, like it didn't look very real, like you could really notice that you had something on the skin previous to putting the wet knife on to the powdered area. So that kind of sucked, because you're not supposed to see it, it's supposed to be invisible. You don't know there's anything there, it just looks like regular skin. Um, and then this stuff, the stuff that I used, or that my makeup artist used before for this other film, it just needed water. It was just a powder. There was no part two. It was just a powder and water, which worked out perfectly because my girl was in a bathtub, so there was a whole bathtub of water to use. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is like some weird, thick, syrupy kind of liquid. It doesn't really stick, like when you put it on a knife to cut the skin, it's, I don't know, it's, it's really thick, so it just globs on the knife, and then it just doesn't work very well. So I was a little disappointed in this. Um, what the fuck is my camera doing? There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe find a different brand, or a brand that I actually know what it is and try that because this just, I don't know, I wasn't very happy with this. It only cost me about $11, I think, which I actually thought was kind of cheap. So maybe I just bought like a really cheap crap brand, I don't know. If you ever see something that looks like this, I'll show you again. I can't obviously not hold anything. It just looks like this. No brand like labeling or anything. I wouldn't recommend buying it unless you don't have a lot of money and you just want to spend a little bit. Like this, this like I said, this costs about eleven dollars. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. I'll show you a clip of that film from when I was in school. Now, um, just a little one, just like I yeah. It's hard to write now, and I apologize for the way this letter must look, but you can console yourself with the knowledge that it will be my last.
the oldest spell I know. The most direct. If it works, I won't be around to take it off. Doesn't work? I won't be around to find out. Everybody wins. I date this letter day 12. I think you will recognize the signature. So yeah, that's it, and I will see you next week.